Next, I'm going to take these crystals of copper two sulfate and I'm going to grind them up. Up copper two sulfate and added it to a test tube. This test tube is being held in a test tube clamp on a ring stand. So this is all as part of the setup to go with the Bunsen burner to light it on fire. So before I actually um, light this on fire, I wanna show you a little bit about how to set up a Bunsen burner. First, you take the open end of the rubber tubing and you push it onto the gas nozzle. You can tell it's gas because it says it. Up to about the third notch. Then, when you are opening a Bunsen burner to get the gas to flow, you are going to take this cog at the bottom and you are going to turn it one and a half times. So you saw me spin it three just to get it to the right amount. So one and a half times. This is going to allow the gas to flow out through the top of the nozzle once we turn the gas on. And this is not the main valve for the gas. I have that. So if the gas does not come out of this, that's because the main valve is not on. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take the top of this Bunsen burner and we are going to twist it four times to get a little bit more oxygen flow, which means that my flame should be blue. So once we do this, we get out our flint striker, we cut on our gas, and if you listen very closely, you should hear the gas coming out of the burner. You stand at arm's length away and do, don't cover the entire burner, but you strike this at an angle. Some of these you have to work a little bit harder to get that spark. And as you can tell, there's my flame. So now that we have a working Bunsen burner, I'm going to open this up just a little bit more to get the flame a little higher. We are going to let this sample burn or heat for five minutes. Now that the sample has been heated, we're going to add some deionized water so that you can see what occurs when it is rehydrated.